What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here, bringing you another video. Today I'm bringing you episode 17 now. 17, yeah, I'm not joking, of the Powerpuff Girls 2016 uh, TV show that's on. And uh, this was a very interesting episode. It had way too many references to another franchise, let's just say uh, <coughs> Disney. Yeah, Disney. Uh, a lot of references. Like, a little too many. And just in ge general, uh, a bit much. Like, it really went overboard. Um, the episode is entitled Once Upon a Townsville. And it's an interesting episode. So what happens is, in the episode, we start off with, you know, them opening up a, a you know, like a fairy tale book or whatever, right? They're going into it. And right away, you see reference after reference. And the focus is on the princesses of and many of them have been Disney princesses, of course. Although, although, although obviously, a lot of these princes, princesses have had storybooks. That's where they originated from. But if you're a Disney person, you'll see that connection as well. So they they do overlap. And I mean, there's been so many different versions of all of these princesses that they're doing. So it's not like they're it's not like it's copyright infringement from Disney because that's really not not a true statement or anything. I'm just saying if you're like a Disney fan, you'll you'll get that kind of vibe. But just in general, that's not where they came from. Um, like right away, you start off with a princess, and you know you end up seeing that she's trying to get rescued by a prince, and she is running. And you know, first things first, you see that she ends up dropping her shoe, which is like Cinderella, of course. Um, and then, on top of that, you have a dragon that's going after her, which which in general sort of sounds like, uh, well, the first one that I'm thinking of is like uh, Sleeping Beauty Aurora, kind of. Uh, and then, you end up seeing um, a reference to Peter Pan when she ends up falling down a well and going into Townsville. And that well kind of if you want to say, sort of is like maybe Alice in Wonderland a little bit, but when she's falling, you end up seeing like an advert like they end up advertising with a fairy that looks pretty similar to Tinkerbell. So that's kind of referencing uh, Peter Pan. So clearly, there's an there's a lot of you know princess and Disney kind of references going on here. So it's interesting. So she ends up going there, and then we end up seeing the Powerpuff Girls themselves talking to each other, talking about different things and about like how how the sky works and how thing and how everything works and all that stuff. And they end up mentioning something about like something falling out of the sky or whatever. And then suddenly, uh, the prin princess falls out of the sky, and Buttercup and Buttercup catches her and then brings her down to a bench. So then, uh, Buttercup being a, per, a person that, that thought that she was a zombie or something, well, not, not a zombie, well, she, a dead person, she ends up examining the body and, and suddenly she ends up waking up the princess. Well, at that point, the princess, see, the first thing, the first person she sees is Buttercup and it's a pretty interesting scene because she ends up kissing Buttercup on the lips, which is definitely something unexpected. And Buttercup reacts with, Oh my god, why did that zombie kiss me? Yes, she still thinks it's dead. It, she still thinks it's a zombie. It's no zombie. It, it, so that obviously creates a situation. Well, following that, you end up hearing her introduce herself, which she does it through song, which is another clear indicator of that kind of princess kind of vibe that they're going at with her introducing herself. And her name is Princess Bluebell. And uh, there's a bunch of different references that are brought up uh, such as how like she doesn't want to be saved by that she, she she considers the girls like dwarves and dwarves is like you know snow white and you may think to yourself oh well that that's not necessarily snow white well later on in the episode you have a moment where she well what happens is, is that she wants to be saved and the girls try to reassure her and say you know your life doesn't have to start based off of someone else you can start your life on your own you can be whoever you want to be you can do whatever you want you can beat up a person you can do whatever and the thing is, is that they end up trying to rescue her, even though she constantly tries to get herself in danger. And the thing is, is that at one point, she even, you know, tries to, to get like a, a red apple, like a, like a poisonous apple from a witch, which is obviously a reference to Snow White again. And then she ends up trying to, um, oh, and, and then through song, she ends up mentioning that she's never cut her hair. And 
and her hair is just super, super long, and you can, and you definitely see that. What is that reference to? Rapunzel. I mean, there's too many references here. It's, it's like, why? So, anyway, Princess Bluebell, you know, clearly has a lot of references, and she wants to meet her prince, charming, and she, she's looking for him and all that. In fact, she even goes on top of a building, which is, which is super, super tall, and she waits for him. And that's sort of like a reference to King Kong, which is like how many references are you trying to map out here like holy moly is it like is, is the goal here to make 50 bazillion references because it's crazy and not to mention the other thing is that when she's singing and stuff at one point they have this lizard who says oh I, I'm a prince charming you can kiss me and I'll turn into a prince uh, to, to blossom because blossom, the lizard is combing her hair which is just like what and the thing is is that that's obviously a reference to the princess and the frog so yeah uh, that's like a lot and you may think to yourself I'm, ba I'm talking about the movie uh, no I'm talking about like the book and all that stuff same idea and then they even try to reassure her through song, saying like, oh, we're gonna do the song. It's called like, uh, b Tooth, um, like Princess b Tooth, I think it's called. And they end up singing to her, like rapping and stuff. And they even have a moment where like Buttercup ends up singing and she ends up looking like a, be like the way that they're singing sort of seems like the Beastie Boys and all that. And it's just like, what's going on here? It's you know it gets wild it gets really crazy and eventually when she's rescued when she's waiting to get to get rescued from the building the dragon comes by the dragon rather than res rather than uh capturing the princess ends up capturing the girls so at that point they're in there and they're like bluebell will save us because they think that she's strong and stuff and, and the thing is is that she gets annoyed because she wasn't captured and she's been wanting to be captured this whole entire time and she's been wanting to be to be saved by a prince this whole entire time so she gets up she gets annoyed she ends up singing going to the dragon's den uh itself and then once she's at the dragon's den ends up beating up the dragon saving the girls and then at that point what happens is, is that after she saved the girls, she's annoyed, obviously, and suddenly the prince comes in with his horse, who, oddly enough, for some reason, ends up talking. And he looks very similar to, um, you know, uh, our horse friend from several episodes back that created a whole entire discussion, if you remember him. Uh, yeah. So... It's kind of weird, and and the horse kind of, and it's similar to like the the Disney movie with like Maximus, so like for Rapunzel and all that. So yeah, there's a lot of references. It's like Disney. It's like they just said like let's do everything we can to bo borrow everything from Disney and see what happens. Just like no. <laughs> so what happens is that the princess is like, you know what? I don't need you anymore. I don't really care about you. Sure, you've come, but you know what? Where were you? And then we end up seeing this this um, moment where they end up flashing to a flashback for him where you end up seeing him playing video games and saying, oh yeah, I rescued a princess in a video game. And so he, and then he makes the excuse, oh, I was in traffic. And the thing is, that she's like, I don't really care at this point. And so she ends up leaving and at that and she says, I'm gonna make a life for myself. And you know what, I'm not gonna, I don't care about what you say, Prince, and I don't care about what you say, girls, because you know what, I can do what I, I wanna do, and that's what matters. And you know, she ends up taking things into her own way. And I mean, Bubbles the whole entire time is in support of everything and loves the singing, even does her hair in a way similar to, to Princess Morbox, which is a little bit weird, obviously. And she ends up singing herself out because she's, because the weapons is that the princess ends up saying, you know what? I want to be my own person, but I don't like fighting. I like being dainty and, you know, fragile and, and sweet and all that, but I have a backbone. And the thing is that Bubbles is like, well, I, and she ends, up talking to the, she, she ends up talking to her sisters and saying, well, I like punching things and being sweet and kind and stuff. Is that is that okay? And her sisters say, of course. And she's like, well, that makes me happy. I think, I'm, I, think I might sing. And so then she starts singing really, really loud. And uh, pretty much after that, uh, the prince leaves and everyone, and the episode ends up coming to a close with a book. And the narrator who is voiced by Tom Kenny, of course, ends up uh, saying them out, and once again, the day is saved thanks to the Powerful Girls, but he ends up singing them out, actually. And he ends up saying, darn, I actually ended up singing them out. So, uh, yeah, 
interesting episode. Obviously, a storybook like uh, episode. Very like too many references, a little too much stuff going on. But I mean, it worked. Just interesting episode. So I, I love to know what you guys' opinion is and what's your favorite um, princess in what, whether it be a Disney movie or a princess in general. What's been your favorite princess? that you that uh maybe you've seen in a movie or, or a book or whatever i'd love to know what your opinion is and also what you think of this episode what was your favorite moment of course so please remember to leave, leave a comment and like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next episode so again again guys i'm crazy center 71 and goodbye guys